be the worst meal of my life. Trust me. I just wanna take you out and show you off. You already know that you're the perfect one. Get when I'm with you, feel like a champion. If it says I got with you, I feel like. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So this is a continuation of Vlogmas Day number seven, I believe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is Yummy's Lifestyle. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button before you do anything else. We're trying to make 200 subscribers before the new year, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you're returning, you're back for a reason. So if you could tell from the last video, my friend, she wrote down different dishes and I had to blindfoldedly choose which one. And the meal I chose, I'm not gonna lie, I've never eaten in my life. First of all, I don't like my steak without bones because like, I don't know, I just feel like the bones make it extra juicy. So I've never eaten sterling steak with rice because I already, I don't even like pepper steak and rice. It's not for me, it doesn't slap the way it's supposed to. Unfortunately, that's what I'm gonna have to eat for dinner today. So that means I'm probably not gonna eat dinner. And then for dessert, I decided to make a big chocolate chip cookie. And I'm gonna put ice cream right in the middle. We're gonna cook and talk. The steak was in the freezer, so I had to let it defrost a little bit. It's gonna be my first ever cooking vlog. So let me know what you guys think. There definitely will be more with meals that I consider juicy. All right, y'all, so I just finished cutting up the steak. Now I'm going to look at the TikTok that my friend sent me so that I can see how I'm supposed to look at it. She needs salt, pepper, and garlic. Like, what's that? What is that even? This is really hell. This is gonna be the worst meal of my life. I should probably tie my hair up, but this is the pot that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put it on the stove now. No, I need to make an additional dinner. Here I am, about to season my steak with salt, pepper, and garlic. Can you guys see? I'm gonna put some salt, some garlic, mm -hmm. and some black pepper, cause that's what they told me to do. I like to taste stuff, cause I like to know how it's gonna taste when I finish making it. So I always make sure I taste it before it's done, because I don't want no surprises. Damn, I'm doing such a bad job. Like, can I even cook for them? Make sure I cut the onions really small because you want them to like basically dissolve eventually. I'm gonna stir so that all sides of the steak cook. Let me know, do you guys like pepper steak? I don't like steak. Like I like my steak with a bone in it. What are you even eating at that point? Eat a meatloaf. Cause imagine this dead turn out fire and I'm busting it down. I know y'all probably watching this like this girl does not know what she's doing. I'm gonna add a, a little bit of water and some work, 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 shasha, work, shasha soap. Okay. Yeah, I have to add this. I'm not gonna lie, I don't use measuring stuff. Like, I just measure with my eyes. I'm not gonna lie, it's really my flat. So I'm gonna add two cups of water. And like I mentioned before, I don't really use measuring cups and stuff. Cause I'm just that girl. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to make the rice. Since the steak is cooking, I don't have the brown gravy though. What thickens up water? I'm gonna figure it out though. I like to make my rice like not too soft. Obviously not hard. So I use a measuring, not a measuring cup, but like, if I use two cups of this for the rice, I use three cups of it for the water so that it balances out. I'm not gonna lie, I tasted the steak and it tastes good, so. I might have been chatting. He's trying to make it seem like I don't know how to cook, guys. But I don't know how to cook. Let me tell y'all, so I don't have the brown gravy, thick powder, whatever. I don't have the brown gravy powder that they use in the video. But I heard from the great bonds that some flour and a little bit of water will do the job, so. That's what we're gonna do. Here's my spoon. I'm gonna take a little bit of flour. Just like you're making pancakes. I'm definitely gonna add some browning to this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it might even turn out better than the original recipe. I'm adding my second round of gravy. And I'm also gonna add more seasoning because as I add more gravy, so the seasoning goes out. Oh, y'all can't even really see. Uh, okay, look guys. It's nice and thick. I'm gonna dilute it a little bit more because I want it to cook and thicken up on its own. And now I'm just gonna season it a tad bit to keep the flavors. Um, I just put the pot on the stove for the string beans. I actually like string beans. I've ate them before. Honestly, guys, if y'all love me, buy me a new tripod because this is actually ghetto. It's honestly ghetto. Like, it won't even stay. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the pot and then I'm gonna put the string beans inside. And I'm just gonna let it, like, I guess boil, you would say, for a little bit. So that it can get soft and then I'll saute it and add some flavor. Flavor! Some flavor! I put some 
oil and I'm gonna add some garlic and salt for the string beans. So we can have some flavor to it, you know? Just a little bit of flavor. tasted it before it was finished because I just cannot like cook and not taste it like I don't know if I'm allergic to the string beans because I, I tried them on the stove and now like my lips is itching so like I don't know what that means but it's giving a allergic reaction oh I feel my throat closing that serious it's really hot it's giving chicken and broccoli beef and broccoli I'm not going to lie. It does taste good. I just would never think to make this because like I said, I like my, my steak no bones. But it definitely tastes good. I feel like now I know how to bake beef and broccoli because all I got to add is the broccoli to this and it's beef and broccoli. Mmm. It's that good. Who would have thought that I would be sitting down here eating this right now? That concludes today's video. I thought I was going to be making the worst meal of my life. And honestly, it was pretty good. Like, I don't know if I'm going to make it again ever. But, like, it was good. It wasn't nasty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I don't know if this is going to make you guys laugh. Or if this is going to make you guys want to make beef sirloin and white rice green beans. I don't know. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that we're trying to get to 200 subscribers before the new year. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Toodles. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you tell a cousin to tell a friend to tell an uncle to tell a grandma to subscribe. Love you guys so much. See you guys in my next video.